Alright y'all, today I'm going to tell you about an herb that contains all of your essential vitamins such as iron, zinc, vitamin A, vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin K, basically all the vitamins and amino acids that you need to have a long and healthy hair. So let's jump into it. All right, y'all, this begins week eight of our Protective Style Challenge. I don't know where the time is going, but this week we're gonna be focusing on Moringa, and I'm gonna be using my Moringa Gloss Bar. Now, the challenge says Moringa and Alma, but I have the newest edition, the Hibiscus Moringa and Alma, and we'll be also making this moisturizing hair tea, so let's jump into it. Okay, y'all, so y'all know I have some new gloss bars that dropped, and I'm actually gonna be using the Hibiscus Moringa Amla one. If you just have the Moringa Amla or your own Moringa, all this works perfectly fine. I'm gonna melt the glass bar down with about a quarter cup of water just to start with. I have the heat on medium to high in the beginning so that the bar can begin to melt down. I'm just gonna slowly stir to break up the bar. And y'all, this dissolves within five to 10 minutes. You don't need to leave this on the heat for a very long time. And if you need to add some more water, do so. I'm trying to get the consistency of a little bit looser than cake batter so it can apply easily to my hair. Y'all look at this smooth and beautiful consistency, y'all. This is gonna apply so, so lovely. So let's go ahead and apply this to our hair. All right, y'all, so now it's time to get my hair cleansed. If y'all aren't aware, this is a wig. So let's get this off and get our hair nice and cleansed. So y'all, this week I'm gonna be doing things a little bit differently. Usually y'all see me use the gloss bars as a pre-poo, but this time I'm actually going to shampoo my hair first, and I'm gonna use the Moringa Bar as a, kind of like a deep conditioner. So I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair first, make sure it gets lathered up. I'm using my own aloe shampoo bar. For me, this is a very moisturizing cleanse, depending on what I have on my hair. Once that's rinsed off, let's go ahead and apply the Moringa Gloss Bar. Now, Moringa is a powerful herb, you guys. It contains vitamin B1, B2, B3, B6, vitamin C, calcium, iron, and y'all know I'm iron anemic, so Moringa is always prominent in my regimen. It also contains magnesium, potassium, zinc, and amino acids. But let's break this down as to how they're important for hair growth. So vitamin A actually helps to regulate sebum production. And sebum is that sticky, oily substance that our hair naturally produces. And this actually helps to maintain the hair follicles at optimal function to help reduce moisturized hair. So the vitamin E and vitamin C are rich antioxidants that are important for scalp health and also aids in the production of collagen, which makes our hair more elastic and movable. It also helps to prevent a dry and itchy scalp, which is especially important in this dry, cold weather. And vitamin E is also shown to help improve hair growth. And if you have a deficiency in iron or zinc, it can cause severe hair loss. Y'all know I have a story of how I had CCCA due to my low iron. Also low vitamin D can cause hair loss. And Moringa contains all three of these vitamins in high abundance. For instance, Moringa has 25 times more iron than spinach, seven times more vitamin C than oranges, 10 times more vitamin A than carrots, 17 times more calcium than milk, nine times more protein than yogurt, and 15 times more potassium than bananas. So y'all, Moringa is overall that herb that we should be including not only in our hair regimen, but also in our diet. So after I applied this herb to my hair, I then went in with my own aloe deep conditioner and focused it a bit on my ends because y'all, I want this to be a conditioning treatment as well. So I left this on for 30 minutes using my steamer and while I steamed, I went in and made our Slippery Elm Marshmallow Root Hair Gel. All right, so let's begin with about two cups of distilled water to the pot. Next, we'll be adding the Slippery Elm and y'all, I'll be going in with three heaping tablespoons. Next up is our marshmallow root. I'm also gonna add two heaping tablespoons of marshmallow root. Now y'all, the slippery elm is gonna give you some hold while the marshmallow root will, will provide the moisture. Go ahead and stir in the pot until you get into a rolling boil and then turn it down and let it simmer for about 30 minutes, y'all. If the water starts to evaporate, you can pour in another quarter to half, to half a cup of water, depending on how thick you want the recipe. After I turned off the burner, I let this sit for another 30 to 40 minutes, and then I went in to go ahead and strain it. 
Now y'all look how beautiful this mucilage is. Now if you have flax seeds, I'm going to link this video right up top for you guys. Um, this recipe has flax seeds, marshmallow root, as well as slippery elm. But y'all, these two herbs create a nice gel with a ton of mucilage and a good amount of hold. Now let's head back to apply to our hair. And y'all, I just rinsed off this Moringa mask and my hair feels absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna go right in with my oat and aloe leave in conditioner, y'all. This is light but very hydrating. I like to spray it all around at first and then section off my hair to make sure each section is getting enough hydration. Then I'm gonna follow up with my hibiscus and shebe styler. This is also gonna provide a nice amount of moisture to my hair. And then finally, y'all, we'll be adding this balm, marshmallow root, and slippery elm gel. Y'all, this has so much slip. It is a great detangler as well. And I'm just going to cover my hair section by section to make sure each strand is individually coated. All right, now once my hair is coated, I'm actually just going to brush it off to the side for the style for the week. And I sectioned off a bang for myself because we'll be doing a side ponytail with a bang. So go ahead and comb or brush your hair to the side for a side bun. And then I'm going to twist up the bun into four individual twists. Next, I'm gonna flat twist my bang section. And then once that's complete, I'll pin this down to the back of my bun. Then I'm going to take the two twists up top and pin them up and around the back section. And then the two twists on the bottom, I'm going to pin them up and forward. This is going to create a bun-like effect or like a flower effect. Now y'all, I was actually short for time because I actually had to fly to Boston the next morning. And this was really, really late at night. So in the morning, once I take off my scarf, my hair is actually not all the way dry. So there's still a little bit of white conditioner in it. But don't worry, you guys, over the next few days, it definitely does dry up. And I have this very pretty style for the week. Let me know if you're going to try this style out. And stay tuned while we begin week nine of our protective style challenge. But that's it for this week. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.